The Napoli starting 11. David Ospina begins in goal. Lorenzo Insigne starts with Matteo Politano in the wide areas. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. This is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Henrik Mkhitaryan starts with Lorenzo Pellegrini in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And the game begins. Won it back. Nicolo Zaniolo. Rick Karsdorp. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Victor Ozimhen. Just too much on that pass. But it's fair to say Lorenzo Insigne can be the centrepiece of any game. What sort of performance are you anticipating seeing from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever, but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. He's got great pace, he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers, and nobody can recover. Zielinski. Zielinski. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Well, getting the ball forward. Can he play it in? It did look on for them, but not to be. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Good pressure high up the pitch. And making the move to the inside. Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. And wasteful from Napoli. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Tammy Abraham. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Played over. Well, that's the end of that for now. Not giving him a moment's peace. And unable to keep possession. And the emphasis is on creativity. Oh, good strike! And the ball is loose. Danger averted for now. That's how to rob them of possession. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Onguisa. Onguisa. And let's give credit to the defending. Smalling. And a throw-in forthcoming. Politano. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. 
careless in possession a good effective pressure high up the pitch Sergio Oliveira went in strongly to win the ball Politano and the keeper had the measure of it They favoured a short one here. Well, the keeper does his job. Well, nice idea, but he didn't quite get enough on it, did he? Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far, and the attack in play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders, because they've dominated here today. Strong but fair tackle. On Guisa. On Guisa. Determined block. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Committed challenge. And well, he's got past his man. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Well, the attack fizzled out. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. On Guisa. And so it is, the first half story has been written. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball. And hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Won it back. And he saw, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. He goes short. Abraham. The crossbar got in the way. Well, that was a bit unlucky. Well, the keeper committed himself. Delivering it. The chance is on. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. And time for the change now. And back underway. 1 0 it is. Got 
him strongly to win the ball. Pellegrini couldn't keep it. This is looking threatening. Firing it towards goal. Able to get a body in the way. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Really good attacking play. Fluency of movement. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Breaking at pace. A bit sloppy in possession. Has eyes for goal! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Making the substitution now. And short it is. The inside route looking promising. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why he's upset. He got something on it, but not enough to keep it out. That's frustrating for a keeper. goal for them here a chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card beating the defender good defending in the end and danger averted for now well the visitors as you can see have enjoyed so much of the possession and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly their pressing has been excellent and they just haven't stopped working it's been a fantastic performance up to now well he certainly caught all of that but was never going to trouble the keeper in the end goal kick it is Deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, this game just drifting away from Napoli. They haven't been properly wired in, Stuart. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Dries Mertens. And space to cross it. Well, that'll be a free kick.
So two substitutes to come on in one go. Well, they really need this. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, when you see this again, the goalkeeper goes the right way, but it's almost the perfect penalty into that top corner. There's nothing the goalkeeper can do about that. That's brilliant. So on with the game, and Napoli find themselves in touching distance now. Ten minutes to go. Vertu. On to Mkhitaryan. Well-timed tackle. Late in the game, Napoli with work to do. Well, at this stage of the game, you have to be more ruthless. Well, that just might be their last chance. What a miss that is. Strong play here on the shielding front. Well, if Napoli score now, these fans will go absolutely wild. What a finish we've got here. Excellent vision. Rosano. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? Let's see about the delivery. And the referee has pointed to the spot at a crucial phase in the proceedings. And now to level the game. Oh, so near, off the post. And problem solved for now. Insigne in the centre. Opportunity, maybe. Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages. Well, here's the replay. And when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked and he's been rightly punished. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Napoli continuing on the attack in the closing moments. It's still level here. But they dealt with the threat posed. And there's the whistle. They can't be separated after 90 minutes.